Hey everybody, this is Nonfinite. I'm back to show you the installation of our new backlight. This is the uh, version 3, just came in today. A very cool little guy, specifically designed to fit into plastic housing of your DMG front PCB without any cutting necessary this time around. It's also really friendly with pockets. So uh, if you're interested in modding either DMGs or pockets and you don't want a lot of hassle, you might want to check these out. We're just going to show you how quick and easy it is to go ahead and install one tonight. Okay, so I've already taken apart this DMG here. You can see an RCA mod over here. We don't have to worry about that really, but this is a mod I'm doing for a customer. Alright, so I'm just going to take a screwdriver, small one, remove the small screws beneath the LCD. It's an old screwdriver. The plastic housing beneath these screws can strip really easily. And this one has so, just go ahead and pull that out. Take a razor blade, insert it in this little notch right here above the LCD, pop it off. Okay, that's the back of your LCD. We're going to be removing these two foam tabs right here. One. Two, take your razor blade, insert it like so. There are a couple layers behind the glass of the LCD and you want both of them to come off. If your LCD glass looks clear, kind of a dark grayish, you've done it right. If it's still green, you need to go deeper. So just get a little notch and then slowly start to peel. This takes a bit of practice. Don't rush it. I like to get up to the upper right corner, take these two fingers, pull down and left at that point. There we go. You can toss that. Okay. Now these backlights have a little bit of protective film on them. That gets removed. Set that aside as well. Now here's the cool part. The fact that these are smaller and the uh, LED light bar is on the bottom means that you can keep your power indicator LED in place. You don't have to remove that like in the old models. So, here we go. Push it in. And there it goes. Now these two wires conveniently can slip through right here. You actually have two options at this point. You can either wire this like you did the old ones up near the power indicator LED here and here or nifty little feature of having extra cabling on these four inches to be exact is that you can solder your wires to a regulated power source. So it would go right here, and you can actually see on the opposite end there's a red cord that runs to it. It's this one right here. All right, so red wire goes to the red wire underneath, and your black wire goes right here. So, what we're going to do is take our resistor. The ones you're going to get are actually going to be a bit smaller than this, but these are uh, 70 ohms. We're going to be using a specific resistance for um, your backlight. So, instead of just getting 100 ohms, in the future you'll be getting specific ones catered to your color. So, they'll be more efficient that way. A little bit brighter too.